Unsell in in credits. Cre I mean, unsell credits and story discussion. Hello everyone. Welcome to the credits and discussion commentary on my fanfic series of Unsell. A quick reminder and side note for everyone: please keep in mind that the whole series is non-canon, canon in an alternate universe of Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, I want to let everyone know that people who helped motivate me or inspire me, well, mostly inspire. Uh, I didn't read that one. I didn't uh, get that one uh, edit, but for people who helped inspired me not to take anything personally and not look at it in the wrong way since I even wanted to make a project series of my own too from reaction videos and all I did on one of my old deleted YouTube channels for an extremely very long time now for reacting to my old friends YouTube videos on their projects. Without further ado, let's get into today's commentary about, on, about the series. I want to start off things on what the whole story and genre uh, uh, is about, too, from my own summary of it. It's about Sally Acorn's redemption for how the romantic relationship between her and Sonic ended things on a bad note from being, being selfish for one Sonic to choose between saving the world from Dr. Eggman or staying in the Acorn Kingdom to be with Sally forever. When they both split each other's own ways and later on... Sally feels bad for how she treated Sonic when she realized that she didn't want her kingdom or anyone else's home place to be conquered by Dr. Eggman. In order to, order to work for him as he slaves in prisoners as his slaves or in prisoners for his empire when everyone deserves freedom and happiness. This is all a big redemption for the past in order to help Sally move on by becoming the better version and improving herself too. This series is also about fantasy having a life growing up by meeting new friends, people, and going on some adventures along some action and figuring out who she really is on the inside growing up after discovering later on at a very young age that she has powers and abilities that nobody has but her. Though she isn't alone since her aunt Sally adopted uh, and raised her to be the best and good person that she is and will support and care and love her to no matter what if she's another being from their world as long as she is, a, she is good. When me and an old friend worked on making the origin story of my Sonic OC together and motivated me to make a fanfic series of Sonic the Hedgehog on my own. She didn't write the story for me since I wrote it, but she did give me really great and good interesting scenes. For example, with both classic and modern Sonic quills to a cryogenic sleep pod to with to make for to work with for to make for my Sonic OC's origin story. I do love my OC's origin, original origin story and the outcome of it. Don't get me wrong, since I really do, but I just feel like it would be better if fantasy has a life growing up, growing up for experience and memories from when she was a toddler to an adult. When I think back, when I think back on my original origin origin story of my Sonic OC, it kind of reminds me of my life in real life about how. I didn't have a mom around much growing up since my mom and dad got in a divorce from when I was in elementary school. I did get to visit my older brother and mom on the weekends, I believe, but it stopped later on down the road since our mom kept telling me her problems and it was bothering me since I was going through a lot of anxiety when I was in middle school and it always upset that, that me that our mom was barely happy at all. The good thing is, though, that they did make amends and are on good terms uh, around 2020, where they aren't living together, though, still. I do have two uh, older sister, half older sisters, but they live on the other side of the state from where I live now and in, in Indiana. They haven't visited in an extremely long time since I was in either middle or high school, and they both have their own lives that they are busy with. I am happy that they are still doing 
Alright, still. Also, I'm not adopted in life since I'm born into my family and none of my our family members are adopted too. I know that my Sonic OC is adopted, but we do have some things in common even though there are major big differences from fiction and reality between me and my Sonic OC. When I finished writing this series, or was close to finish writing this series, it got me thinking that my OC is kind of like Superman in a way, but completely different. Superman has heat vision from where he can shoot lasers from his eyes, along with the power and abilities to see through walls, hear voices and things from a mile away or so, free, freeze people or fire with his breath. Or freeze people with his breath and by blowing cold air and can lift a whole entire building or anything heavier since it's, his strength is limitless and along with the ability to survive fire. He also one time bench pressed the whole entire planet Earth for five days with only breaking one single sweat. <laughs> That's a big feature right there, jeez. <laughs> Fancy can only stop time, face through walls and other objects, teleportation, knock people out physically or mentally unconscious with her mind, and make them experience the out of body experience with their spirits by sending them into one of her realms to try and escape the lesson in their time for how long until they can wake up, back up. She can also slow down time, read thoughts, detect life forces around her through surfaces like walls, floors, and ceilings with outlines of them and see if they are alive or not. She can also interact with objects while time is stopped. But my, OC, my Sonic OC and Superman have common, haven't in common are that they can fly, have super strength, super speed, and can see people through objects and structures. They are from different worlds as well too since Superman is from Krypton when his parents launched him to Earth for safety from the planet getting destroyed. As for my OC, the same thing happened to my OC as well but she came from a different Earth slash Mobius from when Sonic uh, dot F E R went around taking everyone's lives and Dr. Eggman couldn't risk his daughter that he created to be taken away from him that he created. She got launched toward time and space while Dr. Eggman was distracting F.E.R. aka Ferocious to buy the pod time to hit space and go towards a universal jump hole from where Fancy came from Earth Mobius 44 to Earth Mobius 2. Superman is an alien, but my Sonic OC is an alien. She's actually half demon and angel along with having the DNA from mostly Sonic the Hedgehog in his modern and classic form, but she has a personality of her own. She's mostly an a EXE, but she is a friendly EXE since she doesn't like to take other people's lives since she it will not make her no better than her enemies and she's not an executor. That's basically her moral code along with our superheroes too. Fancy does have other powers and abilities too as, as well, but I'm still figuring out, figuring out and working on them as well. However, let's get into this next section of this video. She does have friends that are like family or best friends to her as well too. She's related to both Marn and Classic Sonic from their Quill DNA. She's also related to a demon, aka EXE, and an angel warrior slash soldier, but she's mostly a, a EXE. My Sonic OC was was created by Doctor Eggman that brought her to life in one of his incubator machines. That she was a, a puddle of goo that was drifted in space to freeze to death. That means she has three biological dads, one that created her and one from the DNA of both Classic and Modern Sonic, which makes the same person as the modern one. That makes the EXE 
her biological dad too. Fantasy by uh, Fantasy's biological mother is an angel warrior slash soldier from heaven. Since both Ferocious and the angel warrior slash soldier fell in love with each other, Fantasy does have two stepmoms, which are Amy Rose and Rouge the Bat, but only in their adult versions. In their regular versions, from where Amy is 12 and Rouge is 18, both Amy and My Sonic OC are each other er, as best friends. Uh, uh, aka besties and Rouge still kind of wants to act like a mother figure to fantasy since she's related to Sonic my uh, Sonic OC is related to Sonic since Sonic is still 15 years old in his regular version his fantasy is 19 years old she will consider him a friend but will sometimes accidentally call him dad <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog is her great uncle since they both are born in the robotic Botnik family, even though Shadow has been in a cryo sleep for 50 years since the gun intrusion on the Ark from the experiments that Joe Robotnik did, while Fancy is born made by Dr. Eggman. Sonic and his friends, in, along with Dr. Eggman, knows that she's an EXC. but they accept her for who she is since she's very friendly to Mobians and everyone around her. Fantasy does have access to most, to almost all of Dr. Eggman's base since she has his DNA in her. She also has full access to almost of Sonic's and his friends' resistance or squad bases too since she has Sonic's DNA. Fantasy on, is on no one's side since she prefers to stay in the middle, but she mostly does good things. In any case... She's a neutral good. Her aunt is still Sally Acorn and Sonya, while Shadow, Elias Acorn, and Manic are her uncles. I do believe it makes Queen Alina her grandma and Sonic and his siblings' dad her grandpa too. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't know how, I think there might be more, but it's hard to keep up since, you know, the family members that each character has, so yeah, cause there's a lot of Sonic characters, so yeah. <coughs> now, I know they aren't the best in that I should have hired voice actors and artists to design the thumbnails. However, I can't do that since I don't have a debit card, <coughs> credit card, or PayPal of any kind online since my dad is under the impression that everyone is a scammer online when really not everyone is. Some really, some people like artists and artists that do commissions are trying to make a living, but I feel like that's getting trickier and hard since there are a lot of great and wonderful artists on the internet that does commissions. Anyway, like I said before, hiring or paying a voice actor to say a line or so here and there along with paying artists how much to make a thumbnail or scene. We're not used to be in the brony community. In a slash fandom, I remember one of the voice actors will like charge people around three to four or five dollars per line or each sentence for their projects or fanfic readings that they do. However, I do know it's mostly free among them if the voice actors are friends with each other. Make sure you read the commission sheets that of their extremely very of theirs extremely very careful and slow so y'all don't miss out on any important and key information, everyone. Make sure you have money, the money ready too as well for when they finish and you have the exact amount of cash to pay them. I don't want anyone getting in trouble, you know, and <laughs> I hate to see drama of any kind. So, but you know, there's also AI, but you know, AI's not the best, but you know. And you know, it's not genuine uh, voice acting work from AI, you know, but I guess it's help some people who want to like do things free you know get some fun projects done here and there but yeah <clears throat> I also would I would also need an editing program in which I can edit out videos and add backgrounds and sounds to and all but that also costs money too there used to be a free editing video software called Vi movie maker from Microsoft that and their old friend recommended to me but it got this continued for some reason for a very long time now. 
I also do work in the real life, and I'm the one man that made this series happen. I would also like to make more background thumbnails of Aunt Sal with my friends in the background, hanging out, or doing something as a cameo, since I don't have a video editing program to edit and do slideshows. I like to put my friends online, fam siblings, and girlfriend in a thumbnail, because I did like the fact that one of my old or band OCs made an appearance in one of my old friends' series that she made in a which I love and like a lot. I just think it's very fun to see one of your OCs make an appearance in one of your friends or fair content creative projects or art that they worked on along with ours. I just would like to do something nice and kind for the people around me. I like to make them feel special as a friend. Now, keep in mind, everyone, not everyone's going to make a, in a thumbnail here and there, but I still love everyone and care about everyone as a friend, no matter what, you know. No one's better or higher than anyone or anything like that. I like, I love and care about everyone equally. It's going to take me a long time or so to finish each thumbnail for my Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic audio series of Aunt Sal since I also, I'll also be making art of my own along with making gameplay thumbnails for future gameplay series on my YouTube channel. So I'll be switching back and forth here and there. However, I did have a lot of fun making this series and it, I love it a lot. If anyone wants to be, do a reading of my series of Aunt Sal or make a fun future project where you're group with friends or voice actors and artists, you have my full permission. But please make sure you credit me for making the fanfic as it is rightfully written by me. I do not own the characters by Sega, but I do own the characters that I made and credit myself that are also my OCs. I'll have a link to the stories as well in the description below. Now I'm aware that there are errors in the writing here and there that I have to I had to improvise the words and sentences here and there. I should have looked back and fixed the errors, but I felt like I wanted to continue the series and try to get each one out in time at the last end of every weekend at the end of the month. I know I shouldn't have rushed it and put more time on fixing the errors and all, but I just had a lot of ideas popping up that was overwhelming me here and there that I wanted to, or not wanted to put in the script. I'm aware that a lot, or... Most content creators usually take months or a year to get a project done and out. However, one part of me didn't want to take a break from it for too long or else I'll lose interest or get lazy about not getting writing or typing the script down in my notes. I don't just want to miss too many. I just don't want to miss too many days of not making the script or just not get along, get around to it again. Since I rarely finish off the series and just focus on our projects, art, and gameplay videos along with making reaction videos, if I can get around to making reaction videos, I also like the. And also, y'all can, uh. Oh, what is it? Uh. Well, I had the word in my head, but I forgot, but, uh. You y'all want, like, y'all can also, like, make, like, an error document or paper you know just like to fix the sentences that I messed up on my errors I mean it's up to y'all like y'all don't have to or you just improvise but just like make sure you know it's, it's still like you know the rating I want to go you know and just how I went for my series I'm not sure I didn't rate anything like PG-13 or anything but I don't know I mean I think it's PG-13 I could be wrong but I know it's supposed to be uh, I don't know. All I know is adventure and action. That's all I know about. Now, this is not part of the script. This is just me saying it. So, yeah. I just want to get out of the way. But, again, like I said, it's up to y'all. But, just... Don't ruin the rate, the genre of how I had it. Please, I mean... Make sure you keep it on uh, the way I had it, you know? Just, yeah. Um... <laughs> But I hope y'all understand, so yeah. Anyway, I also would like to do a sequel from after the end and pre-sequel before the beginning of Aunt Sal 
for two extra episodes. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break from writing any or more script for the series for a while. I do feel like I deserve a break from it. Now, before we end this discussion video, I want to say thank you to both Mia Script and HL Fluffy for inspiring me to make my own project series. I don't think Fluffy started her own pro big project, but I did enjoy reacting to her fanfic readings. Muscrip does have her own series that she made with her own OCs and along with the help of her friends too, I believe. I didn't really pay that much close attention to the credits and all since there's a lot of stuff that I needed the credit back then. It was a huge page and <laughs> no matter what project it is, it's still going to be a huge one to so say yeah, but... Whether it's a Brony or Sonic, you know, Conor Cray or anyone in any fandom, you know, their, their list of credits is huge, so yeah. However, she doesn't own the Ermile Pony characters like Pinkie Pie or Rainbow Dash from the TV show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. She made the Heart Shell, the character, uh, the Color Goddess, and probably other projects too as well. You should check them out and please be warned, they do get very emotional, sad, and wholesome at some moments here and there. I do, however, love and enjoy them no matter what. I still enjoyed reacting to their content on my old YouTube channel. Well, that's the, that's all for the discussion, the story of Unstow, Sal. Anyway, guys, I will tell you the discussion video of, a uh, and credits of Unstow, so, uh, you have anybody have any questions, I'll try my best to answer, you know, I'm not gonna know all of them, but, you know, I just, you know, but like I said, I'll try my best, and, uh, but, yeah. But, for, like I said, for rating part, yeah. I, I want to, like, be, like, wholesome in an action adventure here and there. You know, of the Aunt South series. I mean, nah, I think someone might be watching right now, like, who, like, listening and just trying to figure out the rating. Because, like, I don't, I, I know my rating's a little bit from, like, horror movies and all, but just not that too very well. So... <laughs> Oh boy, so yeah, but just the way I had it in the way, so yeah, but you know, but I forgot the word, I had the word in my head now, but I forgot what it was, Ugh. alright, and so yeah, anyway, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to get on the next upload. Don't forget to share your social media, follow on social media, make my channel grow. And don't forget to go over and subscribe to Agent and Fluffy's channel as well. And, uh, in the music apps as well. The link is down in the description below. It will be in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to my friends' YouTube channels too. Or their social media pages that I have one. But you want, I mean, it's up to you. But yeah. I mean, I personally like to support uh, the creators and all, you know, by following them, you know. So, yeah. Just to show them I have their back, you know, and that, uh, you know, I'm, I support their projects and all. As long as it's something good, not bad, but yeah. But anyway, hope you all have a nice day and night, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay kicking, everyone. Bye.